Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We all work hard for our money. And when we get our incomes tax, some of us say, oh, it's time for me to go shopping. But I'll tell you, our next guest says that's the wrong thing to do. Okay, <laughs> she says now is the time to make some money moves. Please welcome <laughs> money maven and personal finance expert, Miss Jennifer Streaks. Hey, lady. Yeah. Hey. Welcome down to the circle. And thank you so much for having me. Jennifer, why is it that people think, you know, oh, when I get my income tax, I'm going out to buy a car, I want to buy a new Louis Vuitton bag, right. I want to buy some Christian Louboutin shoes. A like, new wig. <laughs> the people, Kiana, you're, you're laughing. That is so true. But like, people want to buy do. wigs. Like, what, it, what is happening and why is that the focal point and why should we redirect that to something that's going to give us more money? I think they see it as found money. Like, this uh -huh. is money that's not in their normal purview. It's not in their paycheck. It's not something they're getting on a regular basis. Okay. So they feel like, oh, this is gifted money. Let me run out and do something that I, maybe I can't afford. Mm -hmm. And I understand wanting to have fun, mm -hmm. but sometimes before you have fun, you have to be responsible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, all the time. <laughs> well, in your book, you said we should invest in ourselves. Right. I'm excited to hear this. So... Yeah, I say you should pay yourself first. When you get your paycheck or however it is that you make your money, mm -hmm. pay yourself first. Put some money in the bank. If it's 10%, 5%, I mean, you worked for mm -hmm. it. Why give it out to everyone and then True. you come back home with nothing? That's that makes point. no sense. Mm -hmm. So pay yourself first. The average person uh, per year is probably going to get about $2,900 back the, yeah. on, on their return. That's a nice chunk. That mm -hmm. is. What are some of the things that you would recommend they do. Okay. So for instance, we've had a harsh winter. I know mm -hmm. in DC it lasted a little bit longer than we wanted it mm -hmm. to. So mm -hmm. some people are behind on their utility bills, gas mm -hmm. and electric. So mm -hmm. get caught up on those utility bills. Mm -hmm. Don't go out and spend this money and then come back and you still have that bill lingering mm -hmm. from January and February when it was kind of harsh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you listed a couple things here. So I'm gonna mention um, car maintenance and repair. Yes, take care of your car. Mm -hmm. If you need new tires, if you need a tune-up, a tune-up costs more than just an oil change. Mm -hmm. This is the time to take care of that now so that you're going into spring mm -hmm. and you don't have anything lingering. You mm -hmm. don't have a car that may be malfunctioning. So don't go out and buy a new car. Repair the one you have. Mm -hmm. No, I always say if you want to be broke, have a car note. I okay. don't believe in a car note. Okay. okay, I will drive my car until the wheels until the fall wheels off. Fall off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, what do you think about doing personal maintenance? Maybe dental work. I yes. mean, how do you feel about that? This is the time for that. My dentist is so funny. I'm at the studio. My dentist. I have an appointment tomorrow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> to get my teeth cleaned. If you need a root canal, mm -hmm. if you need a cap or something, this is the time. Twenty nine hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. If that's the average tax refund. That's a lot of money. You can take care of a lot of, a lot of things. Mm. Mm -hmm. What's some last-minute tax advice? Okay, we all know that, you know, the due date is April 17th. You mm -hmm. must file. Um, sometimes people like myself who never gets a return, <laughs> I kind of say, okay. okay, I got until the 17th to write my big check out. Right. But what are some, what's some advice for some people who haven't filed yet? Well, I would tell you not to panic. And oh, please don't. don't turn in anything that is inaccurate. Mm -hmm. You can file IRS form 4858 which will give you until August. Get a good extension. That's right, an extension, mm -hmm. so that you can make sure that what you are filing is accurate because you don't want to have to file an amended tax return and you don't want to owe or miss a deduction. Mm -hmm. Now, you listed here, get some professional financial mm -hmm. advice. Mm -hmm. Correct. Um, so how would people go about that? And then is that taking their money that they get back and investing it in themselves as far as a 401k and et cetera? That is. If you want to get some professional uh, financial advice that is investing in yourself because you go to this person and you say look I've got three thousand dollars what is the best move that I can make right now is it to put it in a 401k if I'm starting a family maybe a 529 plan mm. if there are certain things that I don't have like an emergency fund mm. I always say you need to have six months to even a year's worth of expenses saved in case anything happens. Yeah. That's God. That's God. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's suppose so something true. happens. If you lose your job, if you become ill, if you have a parent that you all of a sudden need to fly home and take care Absolutely. of, Absolutely. you have this nest egg so you can make better dis decisions. How mm -hmm. about making a down payment on a home? Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so <laughs> I, that's fine. But please make sure that you have other things in place first, your emergency fund, mm -hmm. health insurance, car insurance, homeowner's insurance, before you start saying that you're going to buy a home. 
check your credit. Right. Don't even start looking for a house yet until you know where you are in terms of your credit because there's Absolutely. no reason for you to say, oh, I love this home. I really want it. You have a real estate agent and all of that engaged and you can't do anything. Mm -hmm. Or you can't do anything at the best interest rate. Right. Mm -hmm. true. That's true. That's true. College fund. Talk to me about a college fund. Well, you can start a 529 plan for those of you that want to start thinking about kids and their education. And that's yes. a good way yes. to put that money aside and feel like you're actually moving forward and making a better situation for your family. Got it. Mm -hmm. Got Very it. Good. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, thank you so much, Jennifer, for joining us here at The Circle and giving us all of the great mm -hmm. tips on taxes. Yes! <laughs> uh, and 